Myths are called myths for a reason, because they're untrue stories told by ancient people who wanted to explain a phenomenon or scare someone into good behavior. Because we're so much more rational than our ancestors were, we modern humans know better than to believe in them. Shenanigans! 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 However, the terrifying truth is that some myths are not completely made up. While it's true that most of the mythical beasts you know from fairy tales do not roam our modern world, some actually did walk the Earth, and a few of them might still. Here are some mythical creatures that might actually have existed. The Kraken And let this day be cussed by we who ready to wait. The Kraken the Kraken has supposedly terrorized sailors for centuries, a horrible creature which was said to have long tentacles able to suction your face clean off and pull an entire ship beneath the waves. Scientists today are pretty sure that the legends are based on the giant squid, which is most definitely real. Although it's unlikely the giant squid are particularly fond of sinking ships or suctioning off the faces of quirky pirates. Can I have some more cheese? Like pretty much all legendary beasts, especially the sorts of legendary beasts that enjoy killing people, the Kraken was said to be disproportionately huge, roughly the size of a number of small islands. Real giant squid aren't quite that big, but they can grow up to 50 feet in length, which is big enough. At least one paleontologist believes he's found evidence of Triassic squid that were up to 100 feet in length, though his theory is not yet well supported. We'll have to wait for more evidence to see if there were giant squid even bigger than we know. Dire Wolves Dire wolves are more than just giant CGI canids whose sole purpose appears to be making stark enemies wet themselves in fear. Dire wolves are based on real extinct animals that once lived in North America. Dire wolves lived during the late Pleistocene, between 250,000 to roughly 10,000 years ago. Unfortunately, real dire wolves were not really the size of ponies, although no one denies the potential awesomeness of pony-sized wolves. They were larger than modern wolves, though, and could weigh as much as 200 pounds, almost twice what a very large modern wolf might weigh. Dire wolves are among the most common animals found in the La Brea tar pits. More than 200,000 dire wolf specimens have been uncovered at La Brea, which is a pretty sizable wolf pack. <laughs> Bunyip The Bunyip is an aboriginal legend. According to Australian history, the name means devil or spirit, and the creature is said to look like a cross between a crocodile and a horse. Bunyips stalk and kill human beings and supposedly make an eerie sound like a hollow boom. The Bunyip is a little like Australia's Loch Ness Monster in that it lives in the water and has never been photographed despite the fact that hundreds of people claim to have seen it. However, in 1839, the remains of an animal called a diprotodon were discovered in Australia, which proved that a huge rhino sized marsupial similar in appearance to a wombat once roamed the outback. Diprotodon was a plant eater, but it's not hard to imagine that an angry one would be just as terrifying as an angry rhino or hippo. It's unlikely that there are any surviving populations of diprotodons in Australia, but they only died out 20,000 to 40,000 years ago, which was long after the arrival of the aboriginal people. That suggests the legends might have come from real-life encounters between humans and diprotodons. Thunderbirds the Thunderbird is a Native American legend about a bird so huge it can carry a small whale in its talons. Thunderbirds, which are said to be responsible for thunder and lightning, appear in several tribal traditions, from the plains to the northwest coast. It's a pretty cool myth, sort of like the European notion of winged dragons, except more plausible. So plausible, in fact, that JunoEmpire.com says there are modern people who have reported seeing a bird with a wingspan of up to 20 feet in the Alaskan skies. That's roughly 2.5 times the wingspan of a bald eagle. Some biologists have suggested that the sightings could be a Stellar's sea eagle, which is larger and heavier than a bald eagle, and that similar sightings could have prompted the Thunderbird legends centuries ago. What's weird about this claim is that the Stellar's sea eagle mostly spends time in Russia and Japan, though it's possible one could have gotten lost while out flying. Either that, or Thunderbirds are absolutely real and roaming across Alaska. Dragons one probable hypothesis for the origin of the dragon legend is the discovery of bones that resemble dragons. In one of his writings, 4th century BC Chinese historian Chang Chu discussed the dragon remains that were found in the region that is now known as Sichuan Province. It's likely that similar artifacts were also known in Europe, potentially giving rise to legends of fire-breathing monsters. You have a beautiful voice. Well, thank you. We dragons love to sing when we're happy. 
But if fossils weren't enough to inspire the imagination, it's also possible that medieval people might have encountered actual dragons in Indonesia, home of the fearsome Komodo dragon. According to the Smithsonian, wild Komodo dragons can weigh more than 150 pounds and may exceed 10 feet in length. And contrary to what most people believe, medieval dragons weren't necessarily enormous. Raphael's famous painting of St. George and the Dragon depicted a beast no larger than a lion, not too far off from a real-life Komodo dragon. Griffins the dragon might have a similar origin story to the griffin, a chimeric animal said to have the front half of an eagle and the back half of a lion. According to surviving legends, griffins appeared in ancient Greece, Persia, Egypt, and medieval Europe. In one 2,000-year-old story, griffins built nests near gold mines in the Gobi Desert and would fiercely defend them from ambitious miners. Probably not coincidentally, the bones of a certain dinosaur were once quite common in the same desert. Specifically, paleontologists found plenty of fossil records for the Protoceratops, a quadrupedal dinosaur with a hooked beak that could easily be mistaken for a griffin. From there, it seems likely that people concocted fantastic stories of gold-guarding, fearsome beasts that were half eagle and half lion. Chupacabras Dire wolves are cool, dragons are awesome, but some mythical creatures are downright terrifying. George Michael? I'm thirsty. The chupacabra is a new world myth that originated in Puerto Rico, but it's not as old as you probably thought it was. The chupacabra is a vampiric creature first sighted near the turn of this century. How old are you? 17. How long have you been 17? Well, not quite. The chupacabra is less Edward Cullen and more of a cross between a mosquito and a coyote. Chupacabra means goat sucker, but it's been known to drain the blood of dogs, cats, chickens, rabbits, cows, and other domesticated animals. It has red eyes, spines, and can cover vast distances in a single leap. The most recent sightings describe them as having an almost canine appearance, with thick, hairless skin like an elephant. People have actually found the corpses of animals believed to be chupacabras, which means the beast is an easily solved mystery. Savage teeth hairless, gray skin, and a human-like fist adds up to a freakish fine. Chupacabra corpses almost exclusively turn out to be coyotes suffering from a severe form of mange, which causes them to lose their hair. If you've ever been terrified by the sight of a hairless chihuahua, you can probably pretty easily imagine how a person might mistake a hairless coyote for a blood-sucking monster. Basilisks like the griffin, the basilisk is a cross between two terrifying creatures, although in this case, it's really just one terrifying creature and a chicken. According to legend, basilisks are born when very confused roosters decide to sit on serpent's eggs. The mythical creature that emerges after a successful incubation has a rooster's head, a snake-like body, wings, and the legs of a chicken, although most variations just take the form of a very large snake. The basilisk spits fire and paralyzes with its gaze. It can move with the front part of its body upright. It lives in drier, sandy places, and weasels can kill it. That's all pretty clear evidence that the basilisk is based on the Egyptian cobra, which can also hold the front part of its body upright, spit venom, and stare lovingly into its victim's eyes just before striking. What's more, the cobra's only real enemy is the mongoose, which looks a lot like a weasel, although no one's quite sure where the chicken part of this myth originated. I was just telling him. Look, I haven't found the right girl. When I do, I will ask her out. Has anyone in this family ever even seen a chicken? Werewolves. These hairy shapeshifters have occupied our imaginations for centuries, but there's a really logical explanation for the legend. In the ancient world, there was no such thing as vaccination, and rabies was common not only in wild animals but also in the family dog. A bite from a rabid animal could transform a person from an upright, rational person to an irrational, crawling, foaming-at-the-mouth animal that might attack and bite his or her friends and loved ones. Learn the facts. Rabies kills nearly 4,000 Americans every 1,000 years. Rabies. Once a person was bitten, there was no way to stop the virus from taking over. And if that person happened to be particularly hairy, well, you can see how the werewolf legend might have been born. Oh, help me! Please! Help me! Help me! Sadly, that means our modern understanding of werewolves is not, in fact, based on the actual existence of impossibly handsome, bare-chested shapeshifters, but normal human beings stricken with a horrific, almost 100% fatal illness. Giants Almost every human culture has a version of a giant mythical humanoid. In the British Isles, there's even a legendary giant that has a name. 
Fionn McCool was an Irish giant said to have built and subsequently destroyed the famous Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. But giants aren't just legends. The modern world has plenty of examples of real giants, many of whom exceed 8 feet in height. According to modern DNA testing, some of these modern giants live in Ireland, where a genetic pituitary tumor causing unchecked growth can be traced all the way back to a 7-foot, 7 7-inch 7 circus performer whose bones are still on display at the Hunterian Museum. This genetic link suggests the mutation has been around for a long time, and may even go all the way back to Fionn McCool himself, thus proving that giants are not just the stuff of some bored medieval storyteller's imagination. Sadly, golden geese and magical beans probably aren't based on reality, though one never knows what archaeologists might someday discover in a forgotten ruin.